Have you ever been shopping online and added something to your cart, but then ultimately decided not to purchase it? I know I have. I absolutely love cooking and I like to shop online for cookbooks, interesting spices, or maybe even a new kitchen gadget. But sometimes I change my mind before checking out because I choose to save the money instead. Or I decide that the kitchen tools I already have will work just fine for my recipe. When that happens, the online store has what's called an abandoned cart. And according to e-commerce platform Shopify, online merchants lose $18 billion a year in sales revenue because of cart abandonment. This is a big problem, but it's one that business intelligence professionals are very skilled at solving. In this video, we'll consider exactly how that works. BI professionals can use data to identify where a customer came from, whether a Google search, an email link, or maybe a social media post. Then they can visualize the journey the shopper took when visiting the website. They're even able to pinpoint exactly where that customer dropped off and try to figure out why. For example, a BI professional might create a tool to monitor how quickly the website checkout page is loading. If the team decides that it's taking too long, the company can dedicate resources to improve website speed and hopefully keep that customer in the future. The measure of a website page loading speed is an example of a metric. A metric is a single quantifiable data point that is used to evaluate performance. In BI, some of the most important metrics are KPIs, which you've learned are quantifiable values closely linked to business strategy that tracks progress towards a goal. Many people confuse KPIs and metrics, but they are different things. The basic point to keep in mind is that metrics support KPIs and in turn, KPIs support overall business objectives. It's also helpful to understand that KPIs are strategic, whereas metrics are tactical. Going back to our abandoned cart example, strong KPIs might be the average value of each online transaction, customer retention, or year-over-year -year sales. Think of it this way. A strategy is a plan for achieving a goal or arriving at a desired future state. It involves making and carrying out plans to reach what you're trying to accomplish. A tactic is how you get there. It's a method used to enable an accomplishment, including actions, events, and activities. Tactics take place along the way as part of your strategy to reach your final objective, like stepping stones between each milestone. Reach enough milestones and you'll reach your goal. Understanding business objectives and what is needed in order to achieve them is the first step in BI monitoring. BI monitoring involves building and using hardware and software tools to easily and rapidly analyze data and enable stakeholders to make impactful business decisions. So let's say our e-commerce merchant sets a goal to decrease cart abandonment by 15% in six months. The BI professional would create a tool that monitors web page loading speeds in order to help achieve that KPI. Rapid monitoring means that the people using BI tools are receiving live or close to live data. In this way, key decision makers know right away if there's a steep rise in the number of abandoned carts, or if they run out of inventory on a popular product, or if customer service representatives are receiving an unusually high volume of calls. Knowing right away means that the company can fix whatever the problem may be as quickly as possible. And this is one of the main ways in which BI professionals add real value to their organizations. 